Hello everyone! Before the video starts I'm just gonna give you a quick update about what's been going on and why it's been a bit quiet on the, on the channel. First of all I had a bit of uh, technical issues because my inverter blew up. I couldn't edit any videos so I decided to go prospecting. I went into the remoter areas, didn't have much of a phone signal. Now I've got a lot to catch up on because I was out for a few weeks. Uh, found some good gold, did a lot of filming, the videos will come, I gotta get back into editing after I installed my new inverter. So I've done a lot of detecting but also had some time to look after my website. The merch store is finally open and it only took me 11 months in the making. I was just waiting for a few sample orders. I've had those since August now and I'm very happy with the quality and everything so the merch store is officially open. You'll find a few items on there already but the plan for the long-term future is to slowly add more items to it, maybe even sell some nuggets one day but that'll be at some stage in the future. I did have a lot of fun designing those uh, shirts and jumpers and uh, getting the logo done and all that. I think the result is amazing. You guys let me know what you think, drop a comment below. Which brings me to all those emails and private messages and comments that I've been getting. Thank you so much. I read through every single one of them. I'm slowly catching up, answering a few, but unfortunately it's impossible to answer them all. I just wanted to let you know that I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna start sorting some of the footage now while you guys can enjoy my treasure hunt at the beach in Germany. Have fun! What do you reckon guys? Plenty of room to swing a metal detector around here? I'm looking forward to it. Luckily the weather cleared up. It was rainy all morning but now I'm hoping to get a few hours of clear weather so I can go detecting at the beach here. I'm really hoping to pick up some jewelry today, maybe some coins, but if not I'm sure I'm still gonna have a good day out here. How can you not? The hall. I can feel something and I can see something. Trash. That's why it was so deep and so loud. It's got a big surface for the detector to react on. The rubbish. But yeah, I'll put it in my pocket, discard it in the bin and now I'm gonna fill in this crater. Actually quite impressive how deep the uh, old go find here goes. Just for something different, I chose a different type of beach today. Instead of going back to the old spot where I was last time, I'm gonna try this area here. It's a lot wider and not as many people lie down in this area, but many people walk along here. There it is. Bit jumpy. But we'll dig it. Got a coin? No. Oh, I think it's jewelry. 
I'm not too sure, but it's very light. It's a very light piece of... It looks like a pendant. Oh. Could also just be a tag of something. It says solar on here. And it's very light. At least it's got something to look at on it. Not sure what it came off. But yeah, I think it's aluminium. It's very light. But cool, something different. I thought it was a coin at first. But yeah, nice. so peaceful because everybody left the beach after the rain. <laughs> I like it. Usually it would be a lot more packed out here. But oh nice. What's going on here? <laughs> We've got a shot bottle. Remember those uh, Klopf mich, those knock me lids? They go on one of these. I found quite a few of the lids last time out, out here. And this is the matching bottle. Something I should mention is that you are allowed to drink alcohol in public in Germany. As you're watching the most beautiful sunsets out here at the beach, you are allowed to Bring your own beers in, your shots, of course. What a beautiful day to swing a metal detector at the beach. It's just beautiful. Probably one of the last sunny, nice days here in Germany. ring pull. The closer I'm getting to the car park here, which is still a fair way away, maybe a kilometer, I'm getting more signals. Another beaver tail. Rubbish. I'm collecting everything in here. Oh, and by the way, I'm also carrying my beach search license. Just a printed sheet of paper which you are supposed to carry with you whilst out metal detecting at designated beaches. So I'm not too sure why in this day and age you can't have a digital copy. You have to have it printed. So I've printed a beach search license. ring pool.
another ring pull. see something golden I could see something golden but it's just foil well it can only be a matter of time until I dig up a coin or maybe a golden ring some jewelry but it's not like I could keep it I'd have to hand it in everything that's worth more than 10 euros I'd have to hand in and wait until a rightful owner picks it up and gets it I'm just very lucky that it's not overly warm today this is the area where the naked beach begins. Hmm. Naked people don't have any pockets, but they still put their clothes somewhere. Lucky it's not overly busy, otherwise I'd be in trouble with my camera walking around here. Ooh, it's heavy. What is it? I don't know. It's very heavy for its size. But I think it's just rubbish. Can't believe we still haven't found a coin yet. Or jewelry. Although I'd rather have a coin. It's very odd. I can see naked people. I'll go this way. Trust me, it's nothing you want to see. I'll set you up so you can look this way because you don't want to see what's over there or do you? Another ring pull. I've got about 10 of those by now at least. I'm carrying the detector because I can see too many naked people. Oh. We'll go back this way. That looks better. Oh, another ring pull. Maybe I should try around this playground here. There are no kids here at the moment. where I'd put my stuff if I was playing volleyball here, right behind the pole. Oh, just a bottle top. Pretty crusty. This one here is developing into a quite a deep pole. Right next to where people put the push bikes. These are the railings. It's way too busy over here. I don't even get to dig much because people keep on asking me what I'm doing, if I found something. But anyway, last one for this area here. And then I'm going back to where there are less people. <laughs> Can you see that? That's a rim. Nice. Two euro coin. People are staring at me. I think people are coming down for the sunset. I'll fill it back in and then we'll go back to where there are less people. I've been digging this hole here and I don't know what this is but it's buried down pretty deep which is quite surprising that that little gold find is picking that target up. Like you can see the scoop is uh, disappearing in the hole here but I can finally see what it is. Oh, I can see where it is, but I don't know what it is yet. Oh, I think it's a Red Bull can. I can see the purple colors. Oh, oh come on. What have we got? Well, it is a can. Oh, is that a Foster's can? 
<laughs> the all Australian beer. <laughs> it certainly is. See, I've come all the way from Australia to Germany just to dig out a Australia's famous beer can here. Foster's. Ah, which one of you guys was over here? Probably nobody. Nobody in Australia drinks these ones. It's only the people from overseas who think that Aussies drink it. There's a bin back there. I might just walk over there, show you what I've got and discard all the rubbish because I've got quite a bit of that. <laughs> Have a look. These are all the ring poles that I found. I don't know, I'm not going to count them all, but it's at least 15 to 20 ring poles. Bit of plastic rubbish, that big Foster's can, little schnapps bottle. Also, we've got this little thing here. It says solar on there, but yeah, it's very lightweight. So I'm thinking it might be a tag of maybe a beach shelter. I'll put it in the bin as well. And the usual rubbish. And the $2 coin, which would have been a fresh drop. But yeah, $2, uh, $2 coin, two euro coin it is, even more than $2. So that would be about, I don't know, maybe close to $3. Nice. So yeah, I had an awesome day out here at the beach. I just love it out here. It's so beautiful and it wasn't overcrowded. Not many people around. So I did actually have a look around the playground and the volleyball nets, but didn't find anything there. The $2 coin came from where the bike stands are. Danke, Papa, for the hint. The weather is going to change again and we're getting a bit more rain in the next few days. So I'm glad that I took the chance, came out here, enjoyed a bit of sunlight out here went for a walk, dug a few holes, swung the mighty go find here, about which I'm actually really impressed because it's actually quite powerful. It detects targets quite deep. I didn't expect that from only a cheap detector. So I'm glad that I got it. I can fold it down nice and small and I'll definitely keep it here in Germany for next year. I'm gonna grab all of my treasures here. That'll go in my pocket and the rest I'll put into the bin over there. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little beach hunt here, little treasure hunt at the beach. Unfortunately, we didn't find any jewelry, but I wouldn't be allowed to keep it anyway. So I'd rather take a two euro coin. If you like this little hunt, please give this video a thumbs up. Take care out there. I'll see you in the next one.